If we encounter a man of rare intellect, we should ask him what books he reads. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Hi, I'm Evan Carmichael, and today I'm going to share the seven books every entrepreneur must read. These are seven books that have had a tremendous impact on my life, how I think about business, and I hope they have the same impact on you. Now, I used to have a ton of books. I used to have walls and walls of books and when I saw something interesting I would pick it up and buy it somebody told me to get it I would buy it and I found I had all of these books just sitting on the shelves collecting dust and I and I was accumulating more books than I could read and I had great intentions to read them but I never got around to them and and they it created stress it created stress looking at all these books and knowing I got to read all of these things so I decided one day I would get rid of them all and I donated them to a local library and I pared it down and I got to my core list of books that I read and I reread and have given me so much value and today I wanted to share them with you and hopefully it transformed the way you think and transforms your business as well. Okay, well that was awkward. <clears throat> Test, one, two, one, two. At number seven is The Fred Factor by Mark Sanborn. And this is a book about delighting your customers. It tells a story about a postman named Fred who goes over and above to always delight his customers, which are the people on his route. And you think about being a postman, it could be a boring job, right? You're doing the same thing over and over and over and over again every single day. But Fred finds a way to get to know his customers, to watch over their houses when, they're, when he knows they're not home or on vacation, to always Always look for ways to delight and surprise them and so if you have a business where you personally are involved in dealing with customers which will be most people or if you have people on your team who are responsible for dealing with customers give them this book it's a short read look at that look how thin that is it's like not even a hundred pages what how many pages a hundred pages just over a hundred pages super fast read it'll change your mindset on how to work with customers pick it up at number six is The Go-Giver by Bob Berg and John David Mann. This is an awesome book. Another quick read. It is, what, 125 pages. Pretty easy to, to sift through. You could probably get it through in one sitting as well. And this book is all about giving and helps change your mindset from being a taker and saying, here are my goals and I got to go out and take what I can to realizing that to accomplish your goals, you have to give to other people, help others do what they're trying to do, help others accomplish their goals. And in turn, they're going to come back and help you. And often the path to reaching your goal is totally unexpected and it's going to come as a result of helping other people. So it totally changed my mindset of what I needed to do in business and not just go and try to reach and take my goals, but to help others along the path. It's an inspiring story. You can't help but feel great after reading it. You can't help but feel changed after reading it. You wanna go out and make the world a better place. It's an uplifting, positive, awesome story. Coming in at number six, go check it out, The Go-Giver. Coming in at number five is Donald Trump, The Art of the Deal. This is one of my favorite books because it helps you think big. One of the biggest problems with a lot of entrepreneurs is you're, you're stuck in your current bubble, right? The environment that you create for yourself is holding you back where you are. How do you bust through? How do you think bigger? How do you go out and do something that's going to change the world where nobody in your family has ever done that before, where none of your friends have that kind of ambition? So how do you surround yourself with those kind of people? You read books like this. Now this is one of the first I think it's the first non-fiction book that I ever read. I remember I was driving to New York with my family. I don't know how old I was at the time. You know, maybe teenager. Driving to New York City, crossing a bridge, and I was reading Donald Trump, Art of the Deal. And it just inspired me to want to do more, to think outside my comfort zone. And this is something that you need to do as an entrepreneur. If you want to accomplish big things, you want to achieve big goals, you have to believe, you got to believe that you can do it. So how do you get that confidence when you've never done it, nobody in your family's done it, nobody in your social networks have done it? You can surround yourself with people like Donald Trump, read this book, you will be inspired, you will be ready to take action, you'll be ready to go out and conquer big dreams, it'll give you that extra motivational boost and you can apply it to your business. Check it out, number five, Donald Trump are the deal. Coming in at number four is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This book is awesome. It says at the top, this book could, could be worth a million dollars to you. 
it's super helpful and and the main thought behind this is that thoughts are things there's a lot of believe in this book that whatever you have in your mind whatever impact you want to create in the world whatever business you want to start it's all possible it's all possible if you believe in yourself and it gives you the steps to do it and it outlines the story of Andrew Carnegie who was at the time the richest person in in America and his lessons for success for people who are coming up, how he did it himself, his advice for other people. It'll help build your confidence. It'll help you believe in yourself. It'll help you make you ready to go out and do something positive in the world. It'll give you the confidence and courage to start or to continue the faith, the, the motivation, the inspiration to keep going when, when you may be up against the wall and you're not seeing any progress. It's beautifully written. Great advice in here. As I was opening the book before doing this video, uh, I had the old book smell coming out at me and giving me a little bit of a headache. So uh, I gotta, I gotta brush out the book a little, air it out. It's an old book, but uh, awesome. Definitely recommend reading it. I know entrepreneurs who read this every year as an annual ritual, and every year they take something new from it. So definitely go check it out. Coming in at number four, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. Coming in at number three, Keep Any Promise by Kareem Ismail. This is an awesome book and it's divided into two sections, okay? Now Kareem, uh, he came from a, a successful business, but he was overworked. It was causing problems in his family life. It was causing problems in his, in his health. And he totally changed around everything that he did uh, and replanned his life. And, and he gives you the blueprint for how to do it. Now, it's divided into two sections. The first are stories of people and how they've changed their life. And the second are exercises that you can do to start changing your business and your life. I gotta be honest. I'm gonna be honest, this is real talk. Coming straight from Evan Carmichael is what this channel is all about. The real talk is the stories in the book I found just okay. I didn't find that inspiring. I found the problems that they were overcoming weren't that huge and I felt like I wasn't on the same level with the people who were in the book. And I want to be inspired by people who are doing more, right? Looking at Donald Trump and looking at Andrew Carnegie, people who are doing a lot more. That's who I want to be inspired by. So the stories were just okay for me. But the exercises, the exercises are life changing. That's why it's coming in at number three. If you sit down and you do the exercises and you follow them, the ones that Kareem have laid out, it will change your life. The huge value here, they show the exercises in the book, but the big value is here in the workbook. And I hope, I hope Kareem still offers this as part of the deal. If you look here, it says, download the Life Blueprint Workbook, $149 value for free. That's the money. That, if you go through that, do those exercises, follow through on them, I guarantee you it'll change your business life, it'll change your personal life, it had a massive impact on me, and that's why I recommend it as a number three book, even if you've never heard of it. It's the secret gem for entrepreneurs. So go check it out, Keep Any Promise by Kareem Ismail. Coming in at number two is Radicals and Visionaries by Thaddeus Waro, and the subtitle is Entrepreneurs Who Revolutionize the 20th Century. This is such an awesome book. What it does is basically tell you the stories of a whole bunch of different entrepreneurs, and each story is only, what, four pages long, five pages long? So I can, I can open it up and, so here, a story of Jeff Bezos, there's a picture, there's a quick quote of him, there's his story, there's these little tidbits that come out, more tidbits, story, and then you're done. So in like four pages, you have the history of Jeff Bezos and how he got started. And it does that over and over and over again for lots of famous entrepreneurs that you would recognize. What I found it useful for is that it was a motivational boost for me. One, you know, I believe in modeling success. You've seen a lot of the videos that I do. It's all about modeling success and that saved my business. And so this is a, a quick hit of tons of different entrepreneurs that you can model. I used it as inspiration in the mornings for me. This, this used to be my routine. You know, when you wake up and you're, you're by yourself and you're trying to challenge yourself to think bigger and do more and, and stay motivated to, to run your business, my daily routine used to consist of opening up Radicals and Visionaries and reading one story. And I'd get an idea from them and I'd get, get inspiration and motivated and get some energy from them. And it, you can do it in a couple minutes. It's such an easy, quick read. So you'll get lots of ideas from it. You'll get lots of uh, energy from it. Uh, definitely worth checking out my number two book, Radicals and Visionaries, Thaddeus Waro. And coming in at number one, the number one book all entrepreneurs must read, 
Drum roll, how do I do a drum roll? Drum roll! The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. This is my favorite book of all time. If I had to pick one book to keep, this would be it. And at the core, this book is a productivity book, okay? It'll teach you how to automate, how to delegate, how to eliminate, how to outsource, how to apply the 80-20 rule to your business, how to, how to be more efficient, get more stuff done so that then you can go live the life of your dreams. It teaches you a lot about productivity and since reading this book, I've become a productivity nut and have applied a lot of the strategies that Tim suggests in this book to my life, to my business, and it's had dramatic impact. The other thing though that you learn from it is, Tim thinks way outside the box. And even now, a lot of the strategies here are still way, 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 way outside the box. And you don't even realize that some of these things are possible. That was what I was so excited and interested in reading from him and this is the this is the extended and updated version so I got the original and then I bought the updated version and if he puts another one out I'm gonna buy that one too because it's awesome but it challenges you to think differently it challenges you to step outside your comfort zone it challenges you to look for other ways to accomplish your goal that you may not have ever thought possible so on top of all the great productivity advice that you get and that I get from it and I've taken notes and and read through it it also makes you think more creatively, makes you look for other options. And as an entrepreneur, that's what you're going to have to do to be successful because chances are, it's not just gonna be the straight path to success, it's gonna be a crazy, wild, bumpy ride and you can't just do the things that everybody else does. You gotta be creative, you gotta step outside the box. That's what this book helps you do. Tim Ferriss, Four Work Workweek, the number one book for all entrepreneurs, you must read it. Now before signing off, I gotta give you my bonus book. It's the only fiction book in my collection and I had to share it with you. Now when people look at my bookshelf, you see the Steve Jobs quote at the top, makes sense. You see the books, I don't have a lot of them. And when they look at it, they look at the top and they see what the heck is that Three Kingdoms book? What is it all about? And then they look below and you see this statue and you're wondering what he's all about and those little characters underneath and what they're all about. So I have to tell you the story. So Three Kingdoms, also known as Romance of the Three Kingdoms, is one of the most popular books in China, uh, in all of Chinese history that has then been translated to English. And it'll teach you about leadership, it'll teach you about motivating people, teach you about having a purpose, it teaches you about honesty and trust and loyalty. And it's a story about three warring kingdoms at the end of the Han Dynasty who are fighting for control of China. One of them is led by a man named Cho Cho who is evil and lies and cheats and steals and does whatever it takes to win. And the people hate him and he's very oppressive and has tons of rules and uh, and is and is the you know the dictator and, and his way has to go and, and he's he's evil and cruel. And the other side is run by a guy named Lao Bei who is fair and honest and just and treats people with respect and people love him and they follow him and he'll never screw people over. And these two guys are constantly fighting. And at the start, Lao Bei is losing all the time. He doesn't have the military, he doesn't have the money, uh, he doesn't have the team and he's always just retreating and running away. And eventually he builds up his team and the people believe in him and they continue to follow him and they love what he's all about. And, and he starts to win. And so it's all about this, this fight that continues to happen between those two kingdoms and, and another one that's in the third that, that's not as, uh, not as talked about. But I love the story. It, it's, uh, it always gives me ideas about strategy, about loyalty, about teamwork. And I like to pick it up. I like to play the video games. I like to buy the statues that decorate the stuff. I like to name my products after them. The Zuga that I sell come from this book. Other companies that I've started have come from this book and so uh, it has a lot of deep personal meaning to me and if you're looking for kind of an off the wall fiction book that um, challenges you, that will make you think, that'll uh, be kind of outside the, the zone of usual entrepreneur how-to books, then check it out, Three Kingdoms. Thank you guys so much for watching. Those are the top seven books that I recommend every entrepreneur must read, plus the bonus book at the end. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Tell me what your favorite books are. And if you like the channel, you wanna see more, you can subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. And 
believe. Coming in at number four is Think and Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich. Coming in at number four is Think and Grow Rich. Grow Rich. Grow Rich. Why can't I say Grow Rich? Grow Rich. Grow Rich. Okay. <clears throat> Again. Coming in at number four. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> me, 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 me. Psst, make sure to check out my newsletter. You're gonna love it.